I challenge all those stars in Indonesia, in Malaysia. I challenge you. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. And uh, you know, the Muslims they make videos uh, to explain why Muhammad had many wives. And the videos they have many titles and they copy each other you know it sounds like maybe a guy making a video look like his own title but the fact all of them they have the same title and all of them they copy each other was Muhammad going after marriage for a lost or because a different reason if you watch any Muslim video they will say to you the Prophet he was a good man he was called a Sadiqul Amin, which means uh, the trustworthy, the honest. And <clears throat> uh, he was marrying women just to spread Islam. I mean, look at the excuse. The excuse alone is a crime. Because you just confirmed to me that Muhammad is a fraud. If I cannot, you know, like let us say I claim to be a prophet, so now I'm going to marry women from the neighborhood so why so people will join me and accept me as a prophet isn't it obvious that this guy is a fraud is it God the plan that you marry women so people will believe you since when if I marry your daughter you believe in me that is funny marrying your daughter will make you my father-in-law and yours I am in your son-in-law but will not make me your prophet so in their, you know, their, in their answer, actually, they are accusing your prophet to be a fraud. He is the same as anyone he go in election, like uh, Trump, Obama, uh, you know, all those people who do uh, dirty politics. The prophet is dirty. That's what they are saying to us. And because he's dirty, so he don't mind to put his hand in dirt, and he don't mind to use your daughter in order to reach out for a target he want to accomplish. He is not marrying your daughter because he likes her. He is marrying your daughter because he want to use her. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? This is what they are saying to us. They are marrying your daughter so he can use her and use you. That means Muhammad is a bad person, very bad person, disgusting. Instead of playing Muslim videos, and you know, they will, they will complain, I look for an article to see what Muslims they say. Why did Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad, have so many wives? The Muslim they write article for us, and the article is very funny. Other prophet practice polygamy. Okay, so if other prophet practice polygamy, so we can practice polygamy too. <laughs> Actually, if you go in the Bible, you will see nowhere that God is ordering or allowing any of those you call them prophet to do polygamy. So this is a false excuse. Very false excuse. It is not God who said to Abraham, go and marry, even though Abraham, he, he married just because he wanted to have a child and his wife, she was old. It's not God. And then they quote for you, they say David, Suleiman, etc. or Solomon. And then they say, okay, go to first king and read about the king Solomon. But this guy, he was a king. And actually, he was not even a good king when it's come to sin. He was a sinner. This is why both of them, David and, and, and Solomon, both of them, they cry for God asking for forgiveness. If you go to the book of Psalm, you will see, how, uh, how David is crying for forgiveness, asking God, forgive me. As simple as that, I'm a sinner, I'm a bad person. So you are quoting for me the sin of a man to make your prophet look good. In the Bible, where there's nowhere that God, he said to David, you know what, have fun. Go and have any, any as many women as you want. In fact, David and Solomon, both of them, they ask God for forgiveness. Let us see, as an example. This is God's story with David. And this is David praying to God 
Have mercy on me, O God. According to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy, bold out my transgression. Do you see the David saying his transgression? Do you see it? Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. So why you are quoting for me that he have many women, but you are not quoting that David and Solomon, both of them, they admitted that they are sinners. So why they quote for us something without quoting the rest of the story? What about you quote for me? That God says to Solomon, go and have hundreds of wives. So here you see how even when they try to defend, there is no dignity. And they say, okay, well, here we go. Those prophets, they have many wives. And look what they say here. Just as it is groundless to wonder why Jews and Christians cannot marry 700 like theirs, Islam don't invent a polygamy. Well, the Bible has many verses against polygamy and says it clearly that you should not multi multiply your wives. Clearly. Islam made only polygamy more human. Really? How? How it's more human? We will discover that very soon. Like Muhammad, when he married his third wife, Aisha, at the age of six, was that a human behavior? And I know they will say to you, this is a lie, Aisha, she was not six. You can search right now in English, you will see the fatwa of the biggest scholars of Islam saying anyone who say Aisha, she was 18 when she married the Prophet, he is a big fat liar. And not only that, he's, they say he is a kafir. For he has been ashamed of his Prophet. Aisha, she was 17 going in her 18 when Muhammad passed away. Yet they tried to make her, she was 18, or even some they say 27 when she married Muhammad. When Aisha herself, she says she was six years old. So since when this is a human behavior to go after children? So they quote for us names in the Bible to mislead us, to deceive us, but they will not quote for us that those prophets in the Bible, they ask God for forgiveness and they admit their sin. Very shameful behavior. Very shameful misquoting. The Bible is a book to the point it's an honest book and no corruption in it to the point nobody took those stories off. Why? Because the Bible is reporting stories of, about people's sin. So, Muslims, they try to make people's sin as a guidance and as a way and example to follow. While we are, and David himself and Solomon are ashamed of their sin, the Muslims are proud of Solomon's sin. <laughs> Just because that will make Muhammad look better. Do you understand the, the, the drama? Do you understand the drama? Do you see that they understand the fallacy? So suddenly the shame, the shame which is in David is what they were not proud about. When David himself says, I am ashamed of what I did. Now, in the Muslim videos, they say, first of all, if the prophet was after women, why he married Khadijah? And she was 15 to 20 or 25 years older than the prophet. Why? A man who have lost for women, he will marry a young woman. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Muhammad did marry Khadija for a very simple reason, because she is rich and he was himself working for her. <laughs> Do you see the corruption? Look, look, look. They say, if he ever lost, why a man will go after a woman she is already married twice before him and she have a bunch of kids and she is in the age of his mother? Why? Huh? Well, the answer is very simple. Khadija is the most rich person in Quraysh between all the women at least, and Muhammad himself was working for her, that explained. And then they say, the Prophet, the Prophet did not marry any women during the time he was married to Khadija. That because she is the boss, he will lose the money. 
and they say even his enemies they say that he was sadiq and amin which mean he was a trustworthy and honest but the quran says that the arab they call him kathab liar so what the sadiq al amin is Huh? Let us see. Chapter 6, verse number 66. Oh, Muhammad, your people, they denied the Quran and they say this is a lie. You see, here the translation is funny and it's not really true. They accuse it to be a lie. If we change the translator, huh? let us see different translation. Mostly those translations, they copy from, I don't think even they are translating, they are liars, you know. They copy from each other to make a book. The people uh, have denied uh, thought in, is, is, the, is the truth. So what, what does that mean? You see, it says lie, but the Muslim, they try to make it look nice. So say, okay, they deny that this is the truth. What does that mean? Muhammad is a kathab, is a liar. So why you are saying, they say that he is the trustworthy when in fact they were calling him a liar a fraud you name it why they say to us things which is not true and there is many other verses in the Quran saying the same they call him a liar and they call him a majnoon what does that mean? He is a crazy and liar at the same time. Muhammad is an honest man and he is a trustworthy to the point he went to his own son wife and he flirted with her when the husband was away. That is telling us how trustworthy he is. Now let us talk about Muhammad marrying Khadija for many years without marrying other women. Do you know that Muhammad is a fraud from the first day of his life? How he married Khadija? As Sadiq al Amin. Khadija and Muhammad, in order to make the father of Khadija make them get married, what he did, what she did, she made her father drunk. Can you believe it? Khadija and Muhammad together they are faithy. The marriage of Muhammad, the first marriage of Muhammad is a fraud. So how Muhammad can be a trustworthy? Let us get some reference and I'm opening a reference to show you. So the Muhammad and they will not say <laughs> he's making things up. Where do you get this from? We never mention anything from the Christian books or Jewish books or we mention it from your books. And people will die laughing at the stupidity of your articles. Let us see. Read carefully with me. This is Musnad al-Imam Ahmad, hadith number 2846, page number 312, volume number 1. And this is islamweb.net, very Islamic terrorist website. So who is the one who wrote the hadith? Muslims, who is the one who reported? Muslims, who is the one who published it? Muslims, who is the one reading it for you, Christian Prince? It says here that when 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 they mentioned that Muhammad wanted to marry Khadija and her father can a you know he, he he don't want to marry him to to, to Khadija. So look what they did. فصنع الطعاما وشرابا فدعت أباها وزمرا من قريش فطعموا وشربوا حتى ثملوا فقالت خديجة لأبيها إن محمد بن عبد الله يخطبني فزوجني إياه فزوجها إياه <تصفيق> فخلعته بسته الحلة Let's see what does that mean The father of خديجة He don't want Muhammad to marry خديجة Why obviously for he is a very filthy creature from a very bad family not as the Muslims they say to us he is from the highest family of Quraysh if he is from the highest family why this guy even 
even his wife, his daughter, she have two husbands before Muhammad. She had a bunch of kids. Still, Muhammad is not good for him. How bad Muhammad was. So look what she did. She made a big meal, or let us say invitation. She's rich. She married rich husbands, and she inherited them. And she invited many people to the house of her father. And they made them drink in wine until they became a drunk. As you see here, it says, فَصَنَعَتْ طَعَامًا وَشَرَابًا فَدَعَتْ أَبَاهَا وَزُمُرًا مِنْ قُرَيْشٍ she, she, she made food and drink or provided and then they ate and drank until حَتَّى ثَمِلُوا until they became a drunk. ثَمِلُوا here mean drunk. Then Khadija, she said to her father, marry me from Muhammad. He said, oh, girl, you want to marry Muhammad? He said, yes, daddy, I want to marry Muhammad. He said, okay, marry Muhammad. <laughs> the guy was a drunk. You believe it. This is the trustworthy. His first marriage was by a fraud. And not only that, look how filthy she is, this woman. After he said that, by making him drunk, she took off her clothes and she made him dress the best of his clothes. And this is when they do, when they get married, when they have a wedding party to, to make him believe really that you know from the beginning that we are getting married. I did not fool you. Look how filthy this woman is. She took off the clothes of her father. She changed his clothes. So when he wake up in the morning, he will find himself wearing the most expensive clothing, which he wear only for wedding occasions. And here it says, and this is what she did. And when he wake up from being a drunk, he look and he found himself wearing the nice clothes he's wearing. He said, what is that? She said, don't you know? Zawajtani Muhammad ibn Abdullah. You did marry from Muhammad ibn Abdullah. He said, I will marry you to this orphan, the son of Abi Talib. I swear by my, my, my life, I will let that happen. Then look at the fraud Khadija. She said, after he said, I swear, I will not let him happen. She said, Khadija, Aren't you ashamed? Do you want people to laugh at you? For you are, if I tell people that you are, we're drunk. Do you want people, do you want people to know that you were drunk? So Khadija, the wife of Muhammad, and Muhammad, the black male, the father of Khadija. Yeah, I will pause the reference. Here we go. You can use Google translation from your side. And this is Musnad Ahmad, which is a very authentic book for the Muslims full of lies. Mustad Ahmad, by the way, is one of the biggest lies of Islam. But for them, it's a big deal. A book. Uh, for me, it's a potato book. <laughs> Let me use Google Translation. I don't know how Google Translation will make it look like, but uh, what we can do, better than nothing. Click Translate to English. Her Khadija wanted to marry him and she made a drink. Actually, it says the opposite. Uh, uh, her father, he don't want to marry. It says Raghiba. So here they thought Raghiba mean he wanted. He, he don't want to marry him to her. So she made a food and drink and she called her father and a group of people. And they feed them and they drunk. Until when they were drunk, Khadija, she said to her father, marry me from Muhammad. <laughs> and then after he got drunk, you see translation is coming funny here. She dressed him nice suit, which usually they do as a, as a important occasions. And then when he wake up from his sakar, which means he was drunk, he said, what is this? What is this suit I'm wearing? She said, oh, you do not remember? You marry me to Muhammad. Zawajtani bi Muhammad ibn Abdullah. He said, I marry you to an orphan? This orphan, the one is from the family of Abi Talib, I swear by my life, this is not true. Khadija, she said, aren't you ashamed if you, we go around and we tell people that you were a drunk? <laughs> Imagine. So they say to you, Muhammad, the trustworthy. 
And this is Muhammad the Trustworthy. His first marriage was a black maiden and a fraud. The father did not marry him to her. Muhammad, the first, the first step to be a prophet, it was alcohol. Literally alcohol. Because if, if not Khadija, the money of Khadija, Muhammad will not be important between Quraysh. After he married her, became an important man because now he became rich, the wife of Khadija. Then they say, so why Muhammad? He waited all those years marrying to Khadija because Khadija is the rich woman. She is the one who made him. If he marry another woman, she will kill him. She will destroy him. He will be homeless. But after Khadija, she die. Muhammad now is free. He got the money so he can get the honey. Now, the videos, the Muslim they, they make, they say, if Muhammad was a lost, he have a lost for women. Why he marry an old woman, a lot older, he stay with her? Obviously, the reason is so clear, it's her money. But let us prove that. What about if we ask Muhammad, what is behind his marriage? What Muhammad he prefer to marry? Muhammad, when he married six years old, was that a mistake? Or this is his desire, sexual desire? Do Muhammad like old women or even widows? Let us see if this is true. If you remember the story of Jabir, the guy who married a widow, Muhammad, he asked him, he noticed that Jabir is hasting to go back to his wife. So he said to him, oh, Jabir, why you are running? Why you are in a rush? He said, oh, a prophet of Allah, I did marry a, a wife. Muhammad, he said to him, he said to him, did you marry? Uh, uh, <laughs> a little girl or a, a nut version? Look at the question. Look at the reader story. I said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, with one who previously married. Whereupon he said, Who said Muhammad? Why? Why don't you marry a young girl? Okay, how young? We know Muhammad, he married Aisha at the age of six. Why? Why, Jabir? Why? Why don't you marry a young girl so that you could sport with her? That is what the pedophile is about. Pedophile, they have a special fantasy when they are playing with the children sexually. Sport with her. Have you ever heard of a prophet advising you to marry from a child and the purpose of this marriage so she will play with you unless he is sick filthy pedophile i said to him listen carefully now we will prove that this child this is a child not just young girl because young girl it might be maybe she is 13 maybe she is 14 maybe no look what happened the guy he said to him i said to him he said to muhammad Abdullah died, his brother, he died, and he left for me nine or seven daughters. I, therefore, did not approve the idea to bring a girl like them. The guy, he have a bunch of children, they are children of his own son, his brother. So I prefer not to bring a girl like them, a child. But I prefer to bring a woman. Do you see the word? A woman who should look after them. So this, the one, the, the, the age Muhammad is talking about is someone you need to look after her. Do you see it? In the Muslim video, brothers and sisters, if a prophet of Allah He's after lost. Why he stayed with Khadija all those years? Obviously, he was he have to because she was rich. In reality, Muhammad he don't like to marry previously married women. The story in front of you, when Muhammad advised his own man not to marry a previously married woman, that's mean Muhammad he hated. When Muhammad he advised a man that don't marry a previously married woman, go and marry a child, that means this is what he loved. So do you see how they fool you? 
how they lie to you. So when Khadija died, Muhammad appetite open. So he started getting more women and more women. So when they make articles trying to fool us with their stupid statements, we die laughing. And look here it says, the Quran actually did not promote polygamy. How is that? Look what they say to you. The Quran is the only holy book actually says Mary only one. Oof, 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 oof. Quran says actually Mary only one. And then look what they do. They quote the verse for us. I mean, look at the stupidity. Guys, the Quran says Mary only one. And then they quote for us Quran and Nisa. And read with me. By the way, it doesn't say Mary women. It says Inkahu, which means F them. F, women of your choice. What is the first choice? Two. What is the second choice? Three. What is the third choice? Four. But if you fear you cannot afford it, only one. So the Quran, according to the article, allow only to marry only one. So what the two and the three and the four is? Do you see the, I mean, can you believe how stupid this article is? The Quran, brother and sister, the Holy Quran, actually says marry only one. And then they quote for us a verse says, go and if women of your choice, women, not one woman, women in your choice, two, start with number two, three, and four. And by the way, the, uh, uh, the translation here, it says, or is a lie, is a lie. It doesn't say or, it says and. And that made the total of marriage is nine. And that explain why all the biggest names of Islam, they have nine wives at the same time. Because it was nine, not four. The Quran never says or. Where is or? I changed the Muslim to show me. Where is the word or? Let us go to the verse. <laughs> and the funny, Muhammad even here, he encouraged them to marry children. Look, it says, uh, for sure the Muslim they will give you their own fabricated uh, inter interpretation and if you are uh, if you uh, feel that uh, you cannot be fair fair with the with the orphan 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 girls you want to marry them yes brother the Muslims in order to support an orphan they have to take off her panty if you are an orphan you are six or seven years old Allah he ordered the Muhammadan to support you how they can support you they have to sleep with you otherwise no sandwiches so let us make it simple muhammad he married women according to muslims because he want to spread islam that's mean he's a filthy man he's trying to use women just for the benefit of his own benefit to be considered as a prophet so he can make verses says any woman she can give herself to the prophet the muslim they say the prophet he have no benefit from this but he will get will muhammad he get the fifth of the booty the prophet he was getting the best of the booty even women slaves money the fifth of the booty so my friend when those liars they try to fool you don't give them a chance all right and again thank you for being here may the lord bless you and uh, uh, we are happy to see many muslims leave islam after watching our videos and we are happy more that we are arming the Christians with a lot of knowledge. So Muslims cannot fool you and they cannot lie to you. But you have a duty. If you speak any language, whatever your language, please, you can cut my videos, short videos, to make that easier for you to, down, uh, to make subtitle. Translate to your language, Indian, whatever language, Urdu, Korean, Japanese, Chinese, whatever language you have, Filipino, uh, Indonesian, a lot of Indonesian are doing that already, which, which is wonderful we need we need to 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 establish a big network of great work to save the muslims we love them we don't hate them and in the same time to save the christians from being deceived your children your child he will go to the internet and he will all those lies so our videos are there 
for security reason they secure your son they secure your daughter so it's very important to have those videos and time will come and this guy his name is a christian prince he will die he will disappear but my videos should stay there my books should stay there and for sure i die we die but the lord he is always there but we have to share the knowledge so the good ones of our children's your teenage your youth your babies when they grow they will not be deceived they will find the rescue of information so they can survive corona the quran for this is a religion of deception and there's no limit of deception in it no shame and i warn you if you don't do what i'm saying you can be a victim your family can be a victim of this cult imagine your son come back from a school says dad i want to be a muslim it's going to be too late for you to speak to him about it because you waited long we take the flu shot not because we like the flu and this is what we do here we are giving you the flu shot so you will not get sick with it so please help me for when you help me or helping yourself for me nobody can deceive me i'm sick of it i wish one day i wake up in the morning i hear nothing about this cult honestly i, I wish one day i'll go far away i never speak about this garbage ever i hate it actually first thing in the morning i'm answering question about islam uh, in the noontime i'm asking question about islam speaking to to people in skype about islam sometime online sometime and they're online to save many many people i can help them and then at night at the, i mean all my life to fight this cult i hate it honestly i hate it but somebody have to do it somebody have to clean the garbage and as long i don't find somebody can do better or can replace me i will be here otherwise honestly honest to god i hate it it is disgusting i lose my voice every day shouting screaming arguing it's not easy if you stay in my place for 15 minutes you will notice how hard it is especially what i do is something live not like a video prepared for it you know i answer texts i answer calls from the middle of nowhere nothing to be prepared except that the lord he provide me with the brain and he help, he helped me to be able to accomplish a lot of knowledge about this cult and that will take a lot of effort but when you see a lot of people leaving islam when i see those beautiful indonesian people who they are we are waiting for long for somebody to teach them about, about this cult finally the christians in indonesia nobody can debate them who can debate an indonesian christian today who can debate them you have a lot of videos translated in their languages and i give them even my book for free in their language and we need to do more in japanese language in korean language in chinese language in any language we can and may the lord help us and open doors for us thank you all for being here christ is lord islam is false and we we'll see you soon again